this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm somewhat hiding at the moment, <laughs> and that's because if I show you around here, I am behind a giant bow coblin camp. And they're all pretty, uh, pretty chill at the moment, doing, I don't know, whatever that is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't want them to spot me, so I'm just going to slowly creep back around to the uh, the other side down here. Uh, right, a fun one today, so I want to go to the Great Plateau, which, if you don't remember, was the starting area for uh, Breath of the Wild. I'm sure most of you uh, remember that. And I remember it just being south of the, the castle. So I think it's just around here somewhere, maybe, maybe here. Um, so this is the nearest tower uh, that I've been to. Uh, that would get me close to there. So I'm just going to launch up here. Hopefully, while up in the air, I will be able to, to spot it. If not, I'm just going to head south and uh, um, just start heading in that direction and uh, see what I can find. Oh, actually, there's some sky islands here. I could land on one of these and then I can kind of stop me. I know if I, if I zoom in, I think it freezes time, but then you're kind of stuck zoom in. I'd, ra I'd rather just land, get my bearings... And then have a look around and see what I can find. And you know what? We might find something on these uh, these sky islands uh, as well. Uh, maybe at least some stuff. Oh, I've got a... Uh, so these are the stamina bulbs and some sundians. Okay, let's just go and get... Oh, and a golden apple. A shiny... Oh, two shiny golden apples. Is there anything special about them? I know that, like, they, like, heal you more and you can probably sell them for more. Is there anything else special with uh, golden apples I should, uh, I should bear in mind? Right then. Hmm. So I know the world's changed a lot. But I'm not seeing an obvious place where the Great Plateau is. Oh, unless is that it there? Because obviously it was like really like raised up compared to the rest of the area. Oh, and I should I should see the old Temple of Time. That place that just looked like a giant church. I should see that on it somewhere as well, you would assume. Well, I would assume. Is there anything uh, on here? For seen as, uh, seen as we're here, I might be able to tick off <laughs> exploring this Sky Islander as well. I'm, deter I'm determined to get to the Great Plateau today because I keep trying to do things and I keep getting distracted. Unless it's been lifted up in the air, that would uh, that would almost be quite cool. Right, so this is, uh, this is directly south here. I can't see, unless it's, like, down there. So it had, like, a, oh, it, I, it might be this here, you know, because it did have, like, a little mountainy area on it. Is it, is it that, oh, yeah, is that, oh, yeah, is that it kind of, I think it might be there, you know. I think this might be the Great Plateau. So there was a bit down to the left, aha, yeah, there was a ravine. Don't remember, there was a hut there. And I had to cut down a tree to get across, then I climbed up here. I think that's that. I think that's the, the Great Plateau. But yeah, look along there. You can see where the wall is. Okay. We know where we are. So where do I... I don't know. I think I saw a shrine down there. And that looks to be within the Great Plateau. So that might be a first place to, to head down to. And then we'll uh, explore the, the rest of the, the area. I don't see that. Oh, is that... Is that where the Temple of Time was? Those ruins there? Which means, like, the old resurrection place is probably up there somewhere. Oh, this is exciting. So, as I said, I haven't complete. I've only played through Breath of the Wild once. But I did replay, like, the opening and did, like, um... Like, a, a little bit of the, kind of, the starting area, um, of Breath of the Wild before playing this. Just to kind of familiarise myself, because I knew there'd be a load of stuff that I would have, uh, forgot. Just because I hadn't played it for a long time. Oh, by the way, I did look, I was looking up to see how long I've spent playing this game. And, uh, all the, the Switch tells me is, like, 20 hours or more. And there we go. I was right. <laughs> um, yeah, 20 hours or more. Oh, wait, it was on the map? It was on this map. Oh, was it? Okay, I see. Oh, yeah, Hopper Pond. Great plateau. I didn't really this whole time. I was there, like, <laughs> like trying to find it. I assumed it was not in the area that I had filled in yet. Um, yeah, anyway, so I went to look at how much I've played Breath of the Wild, and it just said, like, 20 or more hours, as I said. Um, but it said that... Oh, for Tears of the Kingdom. Did I say Tears of the Kingdom? I don't know. I might confuse myself there. Um, but then it said for Breath of the Wild, I played for over 125 hours. And is that a lot? 
And that sounds like a lot, but I know this is a game that a lot of people have played for, like, even more than that. So maybe if you did play Breath of the Wild back in the day... Have a little look on your on your switchy poos, and if you go to your profile, you can see like your games for how much you've played them. Let me know in the comments how long have you played Breath of the Wild for, and and obviously this is going to vary because people are going to be commenting at different times for when this video came out. Uh, but it'd be good also to know how much have you played Tears of the Kingdom. Have I played more than you? Have I played less than you? Are we about in the same place? Have you not even got the game? Are you not even going to get the game? Did you get the game, but then you snapped it in half out of anger because you didn't like. The fact that Zelda uh, has long hair now. I don't know. I don't know. You let me know in the comments. Anyway, uh, Forge Transfer. Okay, so... Right, okay, let's let's get into let's get into puzzle solving <laughs> mode. Then you need like a different like mindset uh, once you go to start solving puzzles. That's going to spin. And so I need to stick this pole to that pole. And then it will spin the other one, which will open the gate. Right? Does that, that sound about right? I think this is where it's um, it's teaching me how future puzzles will work rather than being a puzzle in itself. I kind of wish this stick was slightly longer. It only kind of just fits. Alright, that's going to spin. That's going to spin. That's going to open that one. Okay, good. Aha! But then it looked like there was a platform that came... Was there a platform that kind of looped around there? There is, or like a thing. I guess I could just kind of jump down here, is what I meant to say. Yeah, so what I intended to do, I was like, instead of going on the platform, I'll jump down into this little pit, uh, this little pit, just to make sure there's nothing there. And I did uh, I did do that. So, fully intentionally, uh, I dropped down there, because I did not, in any circumstances, want to land on that platform. Uh, right, oh, I, <laughs> I didn't attach this very well, but it might still work. Oh, no, it just, it just about didn't. It just about got uh, got stuck. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of similar to what I did in the, uh, the old wind temple, uh, but I used uh, an ice cube where I can use that to open this. And I got another giant dowel <laughs> by the, the looks of things. So I can obviously just ascend up the first couple of those. Can I climb the dowels? Also, just to point out, I could at any point just put a rocket on my shield and uh, <laughs> I just reach the uh, the end of the, the level that way. That is absolutely an option. And oh, wait, does... Can I move the- do these whole platforms move? Oh, they do. I don't think I do. Can't I just put the dowel up there and climb up it, right? I don't know if that's- that might be like a cheaty way of solving this, but I mean, I think it would work, right? Look, if I put that dowel there, and in case I'll end up needing two- Oh, I've just seen the chest, though. Could I- I'm guessing I probably can't pull it down from down here. They're going to put it just out of reach. Okay, they are. But, I could probably just climb up this dowel, and then, um... And then maybe I'd be able to, to grab it from there. Oh, it's like, it's balancing like perfectly upright. Can I now reach it? I can just about. So the thing is, is I feel like they really want me to do something with that cog. <laughs> I guess maybe if, if I, oh, a mighty construct bow. Let's get rid of you and grab that. Um, yeah, I feel like they really want me to, um, like, I guess probably put the dowels on that platform that's spinning, then that's going to push up these. But I kind of like my method to tell. Well, let's attach that to that, and then I can just ascend my way through these. There we go. Look at me remembering that ascend exists in the game. People can change. That's been my most common thing. To be fair, I've heard multiple podcasts, and I've spoke to multiple people that have also been saying that they keep forgetting about Ascend being in the, the game. So I know it must be infuriating when like the simple solution to the puzzle is I should just descend somewhere and I keep trying to do everything under the sun other than a- oh no! Oh, other than Ascending. But I know I ain't the only one. It's probably just extra- it's probably just extra frustrating when you're watching someone else play and you know the solution. And they're- <laughs> and it's so simple. And they're doing everything but the solution. Oh, wait, did, did my- dash? I might just be able to make it from this one, you know? I might just be able to jump and get to that ledge. Oh, can I not- is it not gonna let me- <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, Link? There we go. <laughs> I mean, obviously there was a whole thing I was meant to do there, but you could just climb up the- climb up the poles. Just climb up the poles. That's all you need to do. <laughs> oh, no, that was a fun one to cheat. Like, if- if- if ever, ever there's a shrine, and there's like the obvious solution. Well, there's different levels. If there's like the intended solution or the perceived intended solution, that's a fine way to do it, and I will do it. 
If there's a way that I can cheat in like a cheeky way, like I did just then, I will do that instead of the main solution, even if I know the main solution. But if there's a way that I could cheat that just feels like it makes it too easy, for example, the go-to is stick a rocket to your shield and then you can fly. <laughs> and that can solve most of these shrines by the looks of it. I don't want to do that because then that, that almost becomes boring because it's just too reliable and consistent. And it, it doesn't feel like I've been creative. It feels like I've just done that thing again that I, uh, that I keep doing. And oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, what's this? There's gloom hands coming out of the ground. Oh, wait, oh, it can move. It can move. It can move. No, no, no. Go up here. Climb up here. Climb up here. Oh, no, no. Can, can they reach me up here? Oh, God, this is terrifying. No, can they get me? Oh, I do not like... No, no, no. Okay, we're getting out. Let's gust. Let's gust. Let's gust. That was terrifying. That was terrifying. Are they, are they going to stay following me? They're not going to stay following me. Is it still following me? That was horrific. That was absolutely horrific. Who in Nintendo decided to add those into the game? That was awful. And what? So what's now? They, they Is that like loot that they've dropped? It looks so sparkly and lovely. They're not going to worry. If they come back, I'm going to get out of here straight away. Are these dark clumps? They have left some dark clumps. That was, that was absolutely terrifying. That was absolutely terrifying. Why was why is that in the game? Take why is that in my lovely Zelda game? Remember the last episode where I started the episode with a tear in my eye as I gaze off into the distance, saying, "This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen." And then now they go and do that—the most terrifying thing that I've ever seen. That was horrible. That was so horrible. Ooh, I got shivers. Anyway, okay. Well, hopefully. That's not going to happen uh, <laughs> Happen too regularly. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, looks like we've got a cheeky Korok seed we can gather here. There is a shrine in the distance over there, but I think that's outside of the Great Plateau. And this is the uh, the Great Plateau episode where I want to see everything that's uh, going on here. Uh, oh, is this the final one? It is. I don't mind these ones. Like, that one was a bit boring because it was just <laughs> bouncing around the same pond repeatedly. Um... But like the ones where they're kind of like a little bit more hidden and you're trying to, to track them down. Uh, I think those ones are, are quite good fun. Right then, I, I want to go I want to go back to the um, the Shrine of Resurrection uh, where you started the, the first game in the Temple of Time. They're kind of the standout areas. It looks like obviously the, uh, the shrines that were here in Breath of the Wild, like they're gone. Like what happened to like all of like the, the Guardian tech and stuff? Because the idea was is that like we made it to be good. Oh no, it is, it's not ruins. It is, oh, it's still there. It's still fully there. I guess those were just ruins. <laughs> um, oh, was I being blind that whole time? And was it on the, the screen while I was uh, looking for it? Uh, yeah, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, the Guardians, because basically it was meant to be we made them or like they were made to be good. And then they kind of got all bad and uh, corrupted. But I wonder if we could get them like to be back good again. Ah, do you reckon if I ascend through here, I'm going to get a Korok? Do you reckon? Am I going to get a Korok? I am! Look at me using ascend twice in the same video. Who would have ever thought it? I told you I'm a changed man. I, 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 I. I ascend for breakfast now. Ascend's my middle name. It's Stampy Ascend Long Nose because I love ascending. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. So the king was sitting here, right? Oh, God. You know what? This is my first full blast of, like, nostalgia I've got from this game because the castle looks all different. Like, the Hyrule Field is it's just a field. There was a Korok thing down there as well. I'm remembering this. All. I think there was one on, um... On this rock. Would there be one in the same place? I'm assuming not. It's kind of weird because they designed all of these places for as they were back then. Oh no, there is one still here. I swear there was either one here or there was like a circle of um like lily pads and one in them down there. I guess like they've done the design work, they might as well <laughs> leave them uh, leave them where they are. Um but yeah, this is like the first time because every every look like even though it's the same game world. It all looks like quite different. But this is the first time, just like this terrain. Is like really giving me like strong senses of uh, of nostalgia, and I guess also because it's like the special like opening of the game. It's like such like an amazing moment. Like this is your first time walking down here. I remember the first time like holding a torch 
like underneath an apple and it would like cook on the tree and i was like what is this game what is this incredible game like where there's all of these tiny like little details and then this is where you get the first view if you remember you run out and then the little piano starts playing and then you go and stand here and that's when it does like the the title saying like breath of the the wild uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty amazing. Let's take out these bats. They're kind of ruining my special moment a little bit. But yeah, this is, this is that first, that first view that you get over, uh, over Hyrule. And there's a lot of view tabs. Oh, no, what are you doing? Are you going to ruin it with a blood moon? Right, we're going to have the, uh, the cutscene come in in a second. And these guys, can, can, can I just have my special moment of, uh, of reminiscing about, uh, some good times, please? All right, let's grab some of these arms. And some of the the horns as well. I probably don't need uh, two of the arms. Right? Can I go inside? Where's the um? Where's the entrance? Ah, it's here. Oh, it's very hidden. Um, I guess this is more for like people that played um. Oh yeah, Shrine of Resurrection. That's what it was called. Um, yeah, I guess this is more like an Easter egg for people that played Breath of the Wild. So it might be a little bit difficult uh, for someone who's this is their first one to find here because it was quite overgrown. And oh, there's a. One of these things uh, as well. Let's see if I can... Uh, oh, I guess you need to get a headshot to, to take them out. And also a trick for the things that sometimes drop out afterwards that you can get things from. If you... Oh, I missed it. But if you fly and go into like slow-mo, you have a chance to shoot them loads of times before you hit the, the ground. I was just a, a little bit too slow. I kind of decided very last minute that that's what I was going to do. And I wasn't really in a, a good situation to, to do it. I'll try next one I find. I'll try and show you a better example. Uh, but hopefully from what I just said, uh, that would be a good tip. Because rupees are so scarce in this game. And things are so gosh darn expensive. Um, it would be a, a good tip. Well, this all looks very different. This is not how I, I remember it in here. There's a big pool of water. I can see like gloom essence but that might just be because the the blood moon is rising and all oh. oh no is that the yiga clan have they really shown up here this is a sacred place hopefully this isn't going to go all the way down to the uh the the depths oh i don't like it down now this music's going is, it, is that is it, hopefully this is all just from the blood moon the and then once we've got this uh this blood moon out of the way with land. i can go back to having my Nostalgia lobe in my brain tickled <laughs> by looking through all of this, uh, looking through all of this old stuff. So I, I wonder if it'll just be like, I wonder if it'll be like an Easter egg. Maybe it'll be like some old clothes that you got in Breath of the Wild or something. I wouldn't be uh, surprised. Right, is this all gonna settle down? It doesn't look like it is. Oh, there's a construct down here and some mighty bananas. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the noble swordsman scrounging for scraps. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. You stumbled into our secret storehouse for treasure from the depths. And now that you've seen it, I can't let you live. Your life ends today. Oh no, you are not meant to be here. Right, Tulina, help me out then, getting a good shot. Alright, someone's gonna come here, let's try and get- Oh, they're gonna try and shoot me with an arrow. Luckily I was able to, to dodge them. This weapon's doing alright, actually. And oh, speaking of uh, it being difficult to get rupees, they dropped a pretty, pretty lovely amount of rupees. That was a mean trap. Oh, a duplex bow. A bow favored by the skilled archers of the Yiga clan. It has been engineered to fire two arrows at once to ensure your target comes to a swift and non too pleasant halt. Uh, right, I'm assuming I got some rubbish bows I can throw away. Uh, let's throw away you. Oh, let's go drop like that. I feel like I like bows always last so long compared to like, I feel like I go, everything else, like I go through like really quick. And then bows just last forever. Right, I have uh, retrieved the mighty bananas. Uh, but it looks like there's a, um, yeah, there's a contract here. I guess they're going to be happy I cleared, cleared out the evil Yiga clan. Authorizer verified. Thank you for driving away the intruders. Those interlopers carried me here with them from the depths. I have no way of returning to where I was stationed there. I therefore continue my work here. My task in the depths was to manage schema stones. A great deal of zonite was mined and processed there once. Please hold on one moment. I have confirmed that you that there is a schema stone you do not yet have. Allow me to rectify that. Okay, so these are the things that allow me to like kind of auto build things. And it looks like I can make a beam cycle. 
I am curious about one other thing. Do you know what auto build will do if you have insufficient parts? No! But I did see it looked like it's gonna cost like something. Tell me, tell me. Auto build will not be able to manufacture an object if its component parts are missing. But Zonite can help with this. You can supplement missing parts by using Zonite to mimic their form and properties. Keep in mind that they are temporary parts created by the auto build ability. You cannot use them for other purposes. They will vanish when you disassemble the creation that they were intended for. I assure you that they are useful despite these limitations. I hope that you find your own purpose for them. Yeah, I just need to go on a mad Zonite mining spree. You may notice that I, I do have a, if you see on my hip, I have upgraded my battery. So I now have two uh, energy cells completely filled up, which ain't much, uh, but it's, um, it's pretty good for for now. I'm going to switch my torch out just because I've used that torch a bit. I think it might end up breaking soon. Um, so yeah, so th th that is good. But I do definitely, I do, I mean, I just need to spend more time in the depths, right? That's what I, uh, that's what I need to do. Let me just make sure there's nothing else that I'm missing here. This is good because it makes everything glow. It looks like I'm not. So I just need to get out. So I can't, I guess, can I just climb out? Am I, am I overthinking? Oh, wait, can I not climb this? I cannot. Is this like fabric? Oh, there's something behind it. Oh, it's like fabric. I can burn it. That's why they've, uh, <laughs> that's why they've filled this room with torches, eh? I did not like, I could not tell like what material that was by just looking at it. I didn't know if it was like solid or not. Anyway, let's go and, oh, I always, <laughs> I always, I always so extra when I light my torches. I always do it like a, an extra fancy spring for, uh, spin for some reason. It also kind of looks like fire, like the bottom of this, I guess is like a, another, another way they want you to, to be reminded that this is something for you to, to burn. Right. Let's keep on going deeper. Oh, it's just, it was just a bonus chest, but I guess from here, I should be able to ascend up to the uh, the the top. Uh, when wielded by the a proficient fighter, its cleavers uh, oh just wind in a vacuum. Okay, so let's uh, let's make this into a pretty good weapon because that does. I don't know why I dropped it. I don't know why I asked you to do that. I don't know why I'm doing anything today. Yeah, let's just hold it and let's find something good. So let's order by fuse attack power. Let's just go up. Let's use an obsidian frox fang, shall we? And let's uh, fuse that to this. And there we go. Now, if need be, and I need a mad weapon, uh, I've got one at hand. And you know what? Let, let's do let's do another good weapon because I I keep being so conservative with all of the good stuff. But it's like this is what it's here for. It's it's here to be used. So like next time I get into like a, a scrap and I feel like I'm struggling or a boss or something, I will have like a, a good weapon to to switch to, just to do a big chunk of uh, of damage. Uh, because otherwise I'm just going to end up getting hurt more, and then I'll end up. Well, where am I? I am on the top of a mountain now. <laughs> Did not know that was going to happen. Yeah, then it just means I'll end up using loads of healing items instead because I'll keep getting damaged again and again and again. Uh, right, I've kind of ended up going higher up than I intended. So let's let's see if I, I want to go to the Temple of Time if I can. But I have somewhat lost my bearing. So is that the opening that we went into there? Yeah, I think it is. So the Temple of Time is like here, I think? There we go. I can see the, the spire over there. I do wonder whether it's um... It's, worth, it's pretty worth exploring this whole place again. I didn't see many other shrines on the top. Like this whole place in general just seems like quite abandoned like normally in like everywhere there's a stables or other people or stuff but it seems to be like just me the koroks and the the googlies here i guess it's like really high up <laughs> so it does kind of make it like uh, a difficult place for for anyone to to get to temple of time ruins i mean there were basically ruins in the the last game as well so that's uh, no surprise it looks like the uh, the statue is uh, is still here though is it going to do anything? Well, I can still pray. Is this just going to be used, like, if I have um, enough lights of blessing? Or is there something else that I can get from here? I am trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. That's what the statue in the depth said to me. The one with all the eyeballs and noses. Hmm. I am trapped in the Great Plateau under the... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, is it describing one place or multiple places? Is this like descriptions for one place? Look, I am trapped under the water 
Behind the stone. Ah, see, when I first read it, I thought it was saying three different places. This might just be talking about where someone is trapped. So, right. Under the water. That's tricky. Because Link can't swim underwater. <laughs> Behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. So we're in the right place. We need to go under the water behind the stone gate. Can you see out the window on the far left? There's one of those big dragon things. I always forget their name. Just like slowly, uh, slowly drifting past. Right, can I go back up to the top? Because that's where the uh, the king was who gave me the, the paraglider in the, the last game. Wouldn't be a Zelda game without smashing a few pots now, would it? <laughs> can't, I can't resist smashing a few pots. Right, let's do let's do this one the old school way and let's just yeet it against the wall. Well, hey, didn't get anything though. Right, okay. Once again, I will be using Ascend to get- Oh, will I be using Ascend? I assumed there'd be a, a way to Ascend up here. I might have to do this the, uh, the old school way and just, uh, climb my way up. Uh, it should be easy enough because it's something that you could do right at the, the beginning of Breath of the Wild. I just want to go to- Oh, because it's raining. Oh, you know, I no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I just made something for that uh, before we start the episode. I made some of these, uh, these sticky elixirs. <laughs> which allow me to climb when it's raining. And oh my God. I mean, people like talk about like the improvements of this game and they're like, oh, isn't the, uh, oh, something's gonna, something's gonna electrocute me here. Let's equip, do I have anything without any metal on? I guess just this club here I could equip. And how am I doing for my shield? Uh, do I even have a shield equipped? Well, that one would be fine. So let's just equip that one. Um, yeah, like, everyone keeps saying about, like, oh, yeah, Ultra Hand has really changed the game. Like, the new abilities in the Sky Islands has, like, really transformed the game. I think this the sticky elixir that allows you to climb better in rain, that's the, that's the biggest addition. That is the, uh, the biggest game changer. Then again, it ain't doing me, it didn't do me, didn't do me much good there. I think I assumed... It would be better than it was. So it looks like it helps you climb up. Wait, what? Let me see what it says. Is it working at all? Maybe I'm speaking uh, speaking wrongly here. Uh, grant a low level slip resistance to keep you from slipping on wet surfaces. Oh, so how would I, how would I make a better one? <laughs> That's what I want to, to know. I mean, obviously there are other ways I could get up here with like some of the other tools that I have. Which I may end up need. Yeah, let's just do something. Let's 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 make something, shall we? Um, is there like a log or a big boulder or something here? I could maybe make a um a hot air balloon out of. Oh, there's a ladder! <laughs> All of these ways I'm trying to overthink this of how to get up. There's a ladder right here. Wait, was this ladder here in Breath of the Wild? I hope not, because I definitely remember like scaling the outside of a, of this building in Breath of the Wild. But there we go. When in doubt, just look a little bit more. You might find a ladder right where you need to go. Right, let's climb right up to the, the top of this. It's weird, there's very few buildings like this in Breath of the Wild. Like, it feels weird, like, climbing an actual building like this, because it's so rare that there's, like, a hyper-detailed building that you're climbing up. Uh, right, what have we found? Nostalgic fabric! Tough fabric bearing a nostalgic design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. You can make paragliders! Ooh, I guess can you like customize your paraglider? That's cool. Uh, right, can I climb up to the uh, the top of here? I'll see if I can um, make it without. So I should be able to make it up to, to here. So I want to have a look at um, at where where I sh might be able to find like whatever it is I need to find. I'm assuming it's going to be like a, another one of those statues. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it up here. You know, right? Let's just maybe have a look around from wherever we can stand. So under the water, behind the stone gate, there's what? I mean, there's water up here. Is there? Oh, is there? Is this this? Is this the stone gate? Maybe, possibly. I mean, there's a like there's a big stone gate here, and then there's water on the other side. This is the uh. The best guess I have so far. And I want to carry exploring anyway. And I guess I was wrong. It's uh, not deserted up here. There's a guy selling grilled bananas. Oh. Step right up. Oh no, it's a Yiga Clan person, isn't it? If they're selling bananas. Come and uh, chill. Hot bananas, fresh off the grill. Hold them in your hands. Feel that heat. Take a big bite. What a treat. 
And the flavor, like a dream, a little taste of heaven, if you know what I mean. Step right up and buy a pair. I will pass. Oh. What sort of icy heart does not take a turn down in the hot, freshly grilled banana? Are you going to be a looky-loo or will you buy a banana or two? Just one bite and it all begins. Now I'm going to pass because I think you're going to attack me. There's only one place for those who deny the joys of a grilled banana. Beg the bananas forgiveness. <laughs> oh, what a big shocker. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Annoyingly, I can't use one of my good weapons. Can I quickly fuse... Uh, something onto onto this would be would be helpful right, what am i doing let's go to materials uh oh let's make like a giant hammer thing if i drop this and then very quickly fuse this no 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 fuse 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 don't attack it fuse fuse why would it let me fuse i'm pressing i promise you i am pressing the fuse button fuse there we go right so this this is going to do some decent damage now and no metal I dodged that. Right, I've got to be careful here because they're doing some decent damage. Yeah, I did some uh, some cooking between episodes. I know that one was probably a bit of a, of a waste. All right, let's be ready to dodge. I, I might do like a jumping attack if I can. God, they're just, oh, they're just going all over the place. There we go. That was a big hit. That's all it needed. My upgraded weapon was definitely worth doing. And then it looks like I've got one of these swords. Here. There we go. It wasn't letting me pick it up. And oh, I've got 488 rupees. Where'd I get those from? Go. You blink and then I'm rich. <laughs> Where did that happen all of a sudden? Right, so it's very cold up here. But I seem to have a good enough uh, protection. So it said under the water. Under the waterfall, do you think it means? Yeah, look, if I go right away, if I go away, if I keep going this way. Ah, no, I need to go around this way to get to the, the waterfall. I might have to cut across the, the water or climb up or something. Under that makes sense. Because you can't go you can't go under the water. And I don't think you're gonna drain this. So let's let's take this at face value on the Great Plateau, through the stone gate. And what was that? Was that an was that a, a, an octo, whatever they're called? Stop it! <laughs> I can see I can see you, I know right where you are. Go on, do it again. Do it again. Day. Oh I missed it. <laughs> it's so cheeky. It's so cheeky. Go on then. Go on, then up you go. There we go. I got you. I want to get more of these balloons because they're quite uh, they're quite handy. Those uh, octo balloons. So let's go and uh, grab that. What oh, did that that would just like do a little dance? Hmm. I think it just might have glitched a little bit. Oh, there's a chest down here. Can I yank that out the ground? I can. And inside we have a stone axe. Oh, it has high durability. That might be worth grabbing. You know. Because you know what, I could drop this and then uh, grab this and I could fuse these because these hands do great damage. They're very low durability, but they're, um, yeah, they do very high damage. I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty well equipped right now. I've got a pretty good arsenal of, uh, of things that I can, uh, I can use here. So feeling very prepared for my <laughs> first time in my Zelda Let's Play. Right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it at face value and assume we've got to go under the waterfall. So will, will these make big logs? Okay, oh, I was kind of hoping it was just going to turn into like those wild... Like, these trees are a little bit thin. But I might be able to make just a raft to go and sell my way over there. Oh, here we go. Here's a, a bigger log over here. And for all of you sniggering at the back of the class for me talking about big logs, if you got something to share, share it with everyone, all right? We are doing a very mature and sensible let's play of Tears of the Kingdom here, you know? So, no, no more giggling at me going around looking for big logs. Right, <laughs> okay. I don't, no, my raft isn't looking much like, uh, like a raft. Like, the thing is, all the trees are like different sizes. So I just want to make sure that like it won't sink. I could kind of do this as like the main one and then do some going out sideways just for like stability. And oh, don't you, don't you start. Don't you, no, I'm not even going to go near you because, oh, because of that. That's what. That's why you don't have any friends, Cold Choo Choo. That's why you're always on your own. That's why you don't have any friends because you keep freezing everyone and no one likes it. Uh, right. So if I do that in the middle, 
And then if I just do like these on the side, hopefully they're just their buoyancy will just help keep this like I don't I still want the log to be like spinning around as I go. Because then I have a chance of falling off in the, the water. So hope, hope hopefully what I'm doing here makes any kind of uh, any kind of sense. So I want to head to that waterfall. I mean, even if I just cross to the other side of the water, it'll be fine. So let's just put another one of these logs on the uh, the other side. Over here. Don't start wandering off. No, don't. Don't you start. I mean, okay, okay I guess you're going to stop eventually. Let's see if I can... Uh, Get this attached there. There we go. That's what I was trying to make. I'm not trying to make a giant stick man, I promise. And then, well, let's get you out of the water for now. Is it worth putting a fan on it? Or could I just use, like, a, like my wind panel? I think it probably is, to be honest. I think I've got, yeah, I've got, like, 19 fans. I don't need to be uh, this precious with all of my materials. I don't know if this is one worth saving for the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for the uh, auto build ability. I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be many times where I'm like, I need to cross water. Let's make this mad <laughs> looking. But what have I created here? <laughs> it looks ridiculous. But it should hopefully do the, the job. So let's, um, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm better to be cold. I'm better to be cold. You know, let's put my health up now because there's a good chance I'm going to fall in the, the water and then this is going to all go bad. So you know what I could do to get like a. A good entry because I want to make sure it's definitely facing. Well, let's do it so it's yeah, let's do it so it's going there, and then I can um, place it here. Then I can just recall it, and then I'll be in a, a good position to go and set off. Look at me, look, look at me using all of the uh, the tools at my disposal. So this should push it out. And then I can just press for it to drop, and then hopefully it will be steady. Okay, it seems alright. I, I don't want to use that axe because I'm scared I'm going to break the thing I'm standing on. And then uh, this needs to start going, so I need to fight the um, the current of the, the water. But there we go, this is working! I mean, it's not fast. I mean, it's hardly a speedboat, but I mean, it's, it's doing its job, right? <laughs> I am drifting a little bit. You know what? It might be worth adding another fan. I don't know if I'd be able to do that while I'm on it. I guess what I could do is I could help it along. Maybe if I do this board guster, I could do that to the side. <laughs> and then try and steer it a little bit <laughs> as I try and make my way across. You know what? I'm glad I upgraded my my uh, energy cells because this is a uh, last. Oh wait, am I going the wrong? Is it making it go the wrong way? Oh, I guess because I was doing it at the back, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Right, let's maybe if I just do this and just try and make it go forward. I just, I just. Oh wait, is always oh, the gust of the gust of air is turning the fan on and off. That's what it is. Okay, Tom, let's stop doing the fan. Right, I'm so close to the end. What? Once I just reach the other side of this lake, I think I'll be fine. Wait, could I have just crossed over there? I mean, that might have been more efficient, but would it have been more fun? <laughs> That's the question we need to ask ourselves, right? I'm almost there. I'm almost there. And da -da! I feel like uh, the beginning of Pirates of the Caribbean, where like... Jack Sparrow arrives and his like whole boat's just like sinking and looks destroyed. Uh, right, let's uh, let's try and grab this out of the water because I do not want to let this thing go to go to waste. <laughs> As I said though, I don't think I'll, st I'll bother saving this one because I'm sure I could make a um, much better raft in the future. But it did its job. I might like, have I achieved the thing I wanted to achieve. So before you leave a comment saying that it's rubbish or you could have done this or I could have just done this, have I achieved my intended goal? Yes, I have, and that's the only thing that matters. And I do need to take out this guy. Let's maybe do something that's going to do a little bit more damage. Let's maybe use this. And then shoot it. And then it's going to... Lo oh, oh, I got frozen. Oh, that's annoying. So I, I want to shoot it again now while the dangly bit's still... Oh, got frozen again! Really? <laughs> okay, let's, let's maybe step back a little bit. And uh, we'll take our time. Because that uh, the coldness lingers for a, a little bit longer than I was expecting. So yeah, let's not rush forward. I want to hit it. Oh god, it's spreads like really far away. Maybe, maybe I should use the. Uh, oh yes, that was good. Oh, it didn't. Why didn't it work? Tulum got a perfect shot then. But it did work. Maybe I'm gonna have to like go around the the side of it. The uh, the music does not need to be uh, half as dramatic as it is for what I'm uh, for what I'm fighting here. Oh, it just stays dangling there. Oh, okay, so I thought it was gonna like launch itself towards me, but it looks like it won't. So I might just try and take it out with, like, arrows, to be honest. Like, it's almost taken out already. Yeah, normally they're kind of, like, flying towards you after they, uh, after you shoot them. But I guess because this one's, like, dangling from the, the ceiling, uh, it's not gonna really, uh, not gonna really do that. 
Well, let's just do that. And then, there we go. Okay, we got it, uh, we got it dealt with, no problem. And it looks like we've got some goodies for our efforts. And oh yes, I can show you, I can have another attempt at trying to do an aerial shot on that guy there to see how many uh, rupees I'll be able to, to get from it. I wonder if they put that there to attract you to this area. If they're, if I am right and there is something worth getting down there. Right, so I've got a new bow. So if I climb up here, so I'm above it. Mm, this is a little bit steep here. And I don't want to waste too much of my stamina. So I'm going to need that to hit it while I'm falling. But even if I get like two or three shots on it, rather than like one, which is normally about as good as you can get, I think that would be a... That would still be worth it in my eyes. I just I just don't want to, to scare it off. Hopefully it can't see me edging it around the, the top up here. And so I need a drop and then paraglide. And then just shoot it. Actually, you know what? If I'm going to get a lot of rupees from here... Actually, oh, did I scare it? No, I think we're good. Oh, no, no, I scared it, I scared it. Drop, 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 drop. Let go, why would it, oh, I don't even know what happened then. I think because I was pressing to move and drop, that's so annoying. But yeah, that could have worked if I had just started slow-mo shooting it and then you keep shooting it. I mean, it's a pretty obvious thing to do. I just keep messing it up. Anyway, hopefully this is where that statue was describing. Discovery. River of the Dead Waterfall Cave. Oh, I don't know if I, uh, don't know how much I like the other uh, sound of this. Right, let's keep, um, let's keep boldly going forward. Oh, we've got another one of, uh, of these fellows to, to deal with. And, oh, it looks like there's a, uh, a shrine down here. But it's a, a blue shrine rather than the, uh, the normal green. Oh, no, there's a bit of green going off the top. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, are you going to do anything? Are you gonna- are you gonna- okay, let's just- let's just use a bomb arrow. Uh, bomb flower, I guess. Uh... Yeah, I only got 14 of these, which I know sounds like a lot, but they're like so useful <laughs> that, um... I'd rather save them if I can. But that's doing decent damage. I should only need to do this wall. Actually, I've got it straight away. Okay, perfect. Not bad at all. And then there's some more bright bloom seeds, which are endlessly useful. Did it drop a chest for me? It did drop a, a chest for me. And then, yeah, those things that you pick up from them. I've not really um played around with these before. The like-like stone. Let me read the description for them again. So I can fuse it and it does okay attack power. But it's obviously quite unique. What else can it do? A strange round stone from a like-like. Oh, so that's what they're called, like-likes. Made of crystallized inner fluids. Gross. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. Okay, so it's just like everything else, I guess. So it's, I guess it's like, rather than fusing it, the best thing to use it for is for elixirs. It just seems like, okay, I will remember that because I'm always like on the fence about what to use for elixirs because often like the things that make good elixirs are also good things that you could use to, to fuse things. But anyway, this is exciting. I found a, a cool discovery deep down here inside of the, the cave and I used my brain to, to track it down rather than following a waypoint or a bit on the map, which uh, is normally <laughs> how things, uh, these things happen. And oh, there's one of these here. I might have a, um, oh actually this bow's almost destroyed. So let's change bow. And then, oh, oh, hello. Oh, I, I kind of wanted you to stay, yeah, I kind of want you to stay there. Then if one of those things spawns, I might get one last chance to show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. Oh no, it disappeared. Why, why did it disappear so quick? Oh, I should, I should have started doing it before. Um, okay. One day I'll show you what I mean for that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Because uh, it's been a super long one with hardly any cuts. Just because there's been like endless excitement the uh, the entire way through. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. It's been a blast uh, going back here and seeing all of my... Uh, my old stomping ground here on the uh, the Great Plateau. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go inside the, the shrine in the next episode to, to see what's uh, going on inside of there. Is it a normal shrine? Is there something different? We will find out in the next dramatic tale of Stampy playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That's the end of this one here, guys. Thanks for joining. Bye!